So the divergence of f, or also written as in small caps div f, is in fact uh, uh, calculated. Uh, I'll show you in a second how it's calculated. In fact, it happens to be the dot product of the nabla operator uh, or the gradient operator with the vector field in question. So, which means that basically what we're doing is we have partial by partial x, y, and z. This is our nabla operator. And the dot product is being taken with p, q, and r. And it's a dot product, so of course our result is a scalar. So what we end up with is partial p by x plus partial q by y plus partial r by uh, z. So this is known as the divergence or div f. Um, so uh, very simple to calculate. Let's look at a quick example. An example of vector field. So the div of f in this case turns out to be the uh, x derivative of xy, which is y, plus the y derivative of y squared z squared, which is 2y z squared, plus the um, uh, z derivative of this, which is xy cubed. So that's as easy as that to just calculate div f. The important thing to keep in mind is that we end up with a scalar quantity in the end. An interesting thing to note is there's a theorem that tells us that if um, provided we have all... Um, anyway. uh, okay, so there's an interesting theorem that tells us that if we have all existing derivatives as required, then um, the div of curl of f is actually zero. And this is generally the case for any vector field, uh, which is a vector field on R3. So div of curl of f is actually 0. An another interesting uh, thing about the div is that the div of, like before we saw of the gradient field, so the div of, uh, the, the div of grad f, which in fact is the dot product of nabla with grad f, um, actually turns out to be the second derivatives uh, okay, of this function. Um, so now the interesting thing is that occurs quite a lot in, uh, in mathematics and so much so that we have actually a special operator for it which is in fact the which is in fact this, which is nabla dot nabla. So this is known as this is known as the Laplacian. Okay, it's known as the Laplacian, and in fact, um, uh, this equation is known as Laplace's equation. It's a well-known equation in study of partial differential equations.